Biomarkers are physiological measurements that we take to help us get insight into biological processes in the body. So in neurology for decades, the diseases have been defined based on the pathology post-mortem in the brain tissue. In the clinic, in living patients, the diseases have been defined based on constellations of symptoms. And what we're seeing with biomarkers in the last about 15 years is the ability actually in a living patient to tie the symptoms to the pathology in their brain. In drug development, we focus on using biomarkers to answer a couple of key questions. Who's the right patient? What's the right dose? Is the biomarker having an effect on pathology that is relevant to the disease, either directly on mechanism or downstream? And does the, the drug have an effect on a biomarker that is key to the pathology of the disease? But we're focused now on how do we translate some of the R&D biomarkers into clinical decision-making for Alzheimer's disease. We are using biomarkers in conjunction with genetics for SOD1 ALS, where we're looking to try and understand can we prevent the onset or slow the onset of disease. So I think imaging has been responsible for a lot of the breakthroughs that we've had in neuroscience in the past decade, especially with Alzheimer's drugs. I think that CSF is now really complementing what we can do with the imaging technologies. We really think we're at an inflection point where new technologies have enabled us to measure these biomarkers in ways that five or 10 years ago just weren't possible for neuroscience. It feels like cancer, we could do that. We could biopsy the tissue directly. We could target a drug directly to the receptor that's being overexpressed. In neuroscience, this is a reality that's just come out thanks to technology.